I met the training, the Balance U training, over five years ago. And uh, it was in India, in Dharamsala. And my first um, impression was, oh no, I, I, can't, I can't believe that people, I saw two, two people, young, young people talking about open intelligence and the nature of mind and I was like, oh my God, they're not even Indians. How, how can they have the right to speak about reality with such conviction? And it really set me off to lots of thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences about myself and about them and about the organization. And I actually needed to take um, three months of just listening to the audios we have lots of audios online now, more than five years ago. Many, many hours of audios and talks like the one we just heard and from all the different uh, trainers to see that, okay, I'm ready to come back and, and listen to see what they have to say. Although they're white and, and although they sound so convinced and I don't believe anything, I want to try and listen and see, see what happens. So from the first open meeting that I had, um, Arrogance and pride really shook me off and took me on a, a nice journey of seeing all of my data streams. Arrogance and pride was the mainly main main thing that I, I didn't, if you would ask me like six years ago, are you arrogant or prideful? I would say no way, not at all. I'm, I'm very modest and humble. I'm, uh, <laughs> I like everyone and I'm polite as much as, as an Israeli can be polite and, uh, <laughs> you know. But arrogance and pride, that's for the bad people, it's not for the people like me. And that in itself is very arrogant, right? <laughs> to think that somehow we are different in a set of thoughts and emotions from other people. So in the Balanced View training, we already have a community that spreads all over the globe. You know, our globe, it's a beautiful place that, that we um, ruin day by day. We ruin very b um, in intensely with lack of education in the nature of mind, doing all the wrong actions and really killing the place we are living on. It's really bizarre, by the way. So um, now we have a community of people coming together and saying no to lack of education in the nature of mind and yes to education in the nature of mind, which meaning really taking the time to understand how we operate as human beings and what our capacities are and, and how we can correct all the wrong things we've done as a society over so many years. You know, we, we live in a very interesting time where we have a, a choice of how we want to continue on. So in the Balanced View training we have very go good news. It's amazing news. If you stop thinking for a moment, you are introduced to opening intelligence, the nature of mind. Just stop thinking, even if you don't want to. Stop thinking for a moment. What remains when you stop thinking? A sense of alertness and cognizance. This is opening, opening intelligence. This is in this in your intelligence that is always available. Also when the next thoughts, emotions and sensations arise, so it's not about holding this not thinking state, but seeing that also when the thoughts, emotions, sensations, what we call in balance view data, when they arise, there again you can take a moment, a short moment of instinctively recognizing open intelligence. Because it's there if you check it right now again, right? It's not, I don't think it went anywhere, right? A short moment of instinctive recognition and a short moment for me in the beginning was an insult. What do you mean? I, I meditated for hours. <laughs> what do you mean a short moment of instinctive recognition? I, I can meditate for an hour without blinking <laughs> and without uh, moving my toe. But really, did, did this provide me with the life satisfaction and flourishing I always wanted? You know, this contrived state of recognition or, or not? I needed to ask myself the questions and I actually asked myself these questions before I met the training. It was like, no, I don't want to continue like that. I want results. Like if I buy a new computer, I really want it to work. I don't want to hope that it might work in 2000 years. I want it to work now. Yeah. So with short moments you can test it right now, wherever you are. Instinctively recognize this opening intelligence that is listening to, to this person speaking right now. It's me. 
I'm speaking. <laughs> and also you might have thoughts and emotions and sensations. What, what allows you to know all of them? Opening intelligence, if you practice it, you enjoy its fruits. And its fruits are, are in the form of life satisfaction and flourishing and really an ease of how to be with all your thoughts, emotions and sensations. Now when I share with you, I can share, wow, I had, since a very young age I had so many things I wanted to change about myself. I wanted to change my height. It's not enough, 1.70 centimeters, it's not enough. I wanted to be taller. I wanted to have more positive data streams, like, you know, bliss and happiness, especially when I came to in India. Divine bliss was in the posters everywhere uh, eight years ago and maybe still now. Uh, so I wanted to reach this state of divine bliss and I wanted to reach this state of having only positive thoughts and also in some kind of uh, education program that I took there was lots of emphasis on, on no thinking. So I tried to be empty and no thinking at all and it was such a struggle because it's impossible so that's why it was a struggle. <laughs> you know it's imp when, you, when you try to do something that is impossible and you don't get the results that you want it's hard. So I was kind of devastated in a good way. In a good way because I found with the Balanced View training and its amazing structure, I found a support system of how I can really deal, or not even deal, what to do with all of this barrage of negativity within myself and outside of myself. And when I talk about negati negativity, in my case, it's like panic attacks, depression, anxiety, uh, <coughs> sexual desire that jumps in the wrong time, place and circumstance and uh, don't, don't be afraid now, I, I have <laughs> uh, um, Awkwardness, social awkwardness, you know, all, all the things that make us tick as human beings. So I, I really tried hard and how did I try to, to, to get rid of them? I tried to avoid them, I tried to reject them indulge them. Indulge them for me was mainly anal anala analyzing myself like, oh yeah, yeah, th that happened before. It's because of, uh, yeah, this thought and, oh yeah, parents, uh, before parents, before the earth was created. I went to an entire journey of abusing myself, <laughs> trying to reach a conclusion and understand why do I have a certain data stream and why it happened to me this poor, closed system of mine, why, why, why? Big drama, you know? Or replacing it, thinking, ah, oh, I feel depressed, let's think about butterflies, <laughs> or divine bliss, or, or let's try to really change it with a different state of mind. Uh, and it's really uh, an impotent way of living. It's a way that devitalizes and takes all of this dynamic energy, you know, our data streams, the data streams that appear within open intelligence are its dynamic energy, its vitality. Like you wouldn't try really hard to get rid of the heat of the fire. It would be ridiculous and people would say you are crazy. Yeah, you, oh, go out, go out. The fire is better without you. So open intelligence is already inclusive and subsume all of our data streams, everything. Even the nastiest thing you can think right now, it includes also that, and I'm sharing from my own direct experience. Because while starting to take short moments and settling into the reality of the Four Mainstays, which means the practice itself, one simple practice in the use of our mind, a choice whether to, be, uh, to continue with self-oppression or to choose self-release and total enjoyment, mm -hmm. Let me think about it, okay. <laughs> and then we have a community of people who are doing the same and also saying, okay, we lived a certain way which was quite painful and primitive and although many, the majority of the world is living like that, we choose something else. This is the community of Balanced View. And also we have a training, another mainstay it, is the training. I shared about the audios. You can go and this will be the last meeting you'll ever attend but at least you can enjoy the audios and listen. Listen to something that is so true and real about you. And also we have books for download or to purchase and, and training text where we share with a group and have an opportunity to ask questions and un answers. And all of that they evoke and elicit the instinctive recognition of open intelligence. Plus they teach you really good English if you're not a native speaker. And even if you are. <laughs> That's how I learned my English mostly. It's a good one. 
And we have a trainer. A trainer is someone who has implemented the four mainstay lifestyle in their own experience and they reach the level of assurance where they can say, I, I can help you. I've been through a lot and I, I have great experience and if you are open enough, I'm ready to help you and share my experience. You ask your questions and you receive an answer. And that's the support structure. Like we learned anything, we do the same with education in the nature of mind. These are the four mainstays. They're available for everyone. So once we use them, then we start to see the results. So one of the first things I started to see is, well, even if I'm depressed, like I wake up in the morning, what are my defaults? Usually it was to grab my girlfriend, if she, if, even if she was asleep, and like, I'm depressed! Help me! And, and starting to vomit all of my thoughts and emotions, you know, da, 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 and she's like, okay, wait, you know, let me wake up, or, you know. No, but I thought that's the way to receive release, and that's the way to reach some kind of stability. But it wasn't. It was like an endless trash bin of <laughs> nothing, of, of data streams. But now I started to see when, I, when depression arose, it was an amazing opportunity to test this challenging assumption <laughs> whether I can find the natural perfection or not. It was really like that. Can I rest for a short moment and recognize that the depression is basically a good friend, an invitation for me to instinctively recognize open intelligence? And it was quite incredible to see relief in the midst of depression where before it used to ruin my day, plus all days of everyone around me. Because I chose not to be a victim anymo anymore. That was one of the things I heard in the Balanced View training. I give up the right. I stood up. You know, like if, when, you make, w when some of you married or make some kind of commitments, you stood up or kneel down. And he said, I give up my right to be a victim of my data streams. And although I learned so many things about reality and the nature of mind, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I want to test it in my own experience. I want to see if this reality that is talking about in the, talked about in the Balanced View Training, I is it real for me? I, 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 I was so tired and fed up of people telling me, you know, reality is wonderful, there is God and there is bliss somewhere, but you are so flawed right now, man, that you need to fix yourself with all this wonderful program that I have here in front of me, and you'll pay lots of money. And then maybe you'll reach this beautiful state. But in Balanced View, we save time and money. We say, rest for a short moment. Instinctively recognize natural perfection right here and now. It's not about a different state. There's nothing wrong with your thoughts and emotions. Nothing about you needs to be fixed. And I'm saying this because that's what I came to see with myself. A person that totally took himself to be a flawed human being. Like everyone around me. So none of us are flawed and we have amazing capacity to be of benefit because when the focus on rearranging our thoughts and emotions, do you know what I'm, when I say rearranging our thoughts and emotions, good, bad, yeah, okay, no, politically correct, not politically correct, uh, yes, good one, good one, and then we connect to others, do you know this kind of way of being or I'm making it up? I'm the only one? No, I know. Okay. <laughs> when we stop with it, then we see we have lots of energy, really lots of energy, lots of amazing <coughs> beneficial energy, lots of dynamic creativity. Creativity that is not focused on ideas of what was before and how people should write or act or sing. Really, we operate from a new level of intelligence, a comprehensive, totally comprehensive and ever-expansive in intelligence where you can use wherever you are, so you don't even need to be in a mood of writing. So things like writer's block, <coughs> you see it as a data stream that it doesn't apply to human beings anymore. It's, it's a, like a primitive thing of the past. Why? Because creativity is available to us as a built-in thing, as a default in the nature of our mind. You rest for a short moment and then you see, wow, there's an abundance of openness and creativity and joy. And then how to share it with others, that's what the Four Mainstays really support. What to do with all of this crazy energy, wild and free energy? <coughs> you know, I, after completing the 12 empowerments, which is one of the basic trainings of the Balanced View, I, I plan to have a month in India, another month, 
of just thinking about how was the process of completing the 12 empowerments and having some time off for my girlfriend who've done the 12 empowerments with me and I was like yeah I'll have some time off and I, w I went to pa Parganch in Delhi if you know this place and I just walked in the street oh no it was Cognat place sorry I went to Cognat place because they're the uh, pizza hut and things like that which I like and I thought, yeah, now I'll take the time to think about the process and how things changed. And I was like, while I was walking and thinking that, you know, imagine like an Israeli, 25 years old, with lots of curly hair and things like that. Now, how can I take this next month of mine thinking about myself and how... Pro and then I was like, no, I can't spend another moment of my life thinking about myself and how to correct myself or reach to some kind of special realization. I was like, no way. And I booked my ticket and flew to Israel to tell my parents how much I love them and I'm sorry for being an idiot for 25 years. <laughs> oh, wow, benefit. And this wasn't contrived. It was spontaneous and immediate benefit. I didn't think, you know, while I was walking and thinking about pizza and myself, I didn't think, <laughs> where will this come from? I just took short moments short moments of opening intelligence and I saw that I'm operating from a new level of intelligence. This is amazing, really. The, the, I never met something like that before. I met lots of promises over my many, not many years, I'm only 30, <laughs> but over my, I, I met many promises and lots of uh, misinformation. You know spam, like when you receive spam knowledge how, uh, and emails, how annoying it is? That's how I felt. I was full with spam and full with hope and fear. But when there is a direct slice, you know, like uh, you take a knife and like, <laughs> and you cut through all the nonsense, there is an amazing opportunity to realize reality as it is. And reality as it is, is shining everywhere.